bouncing this ball. Huh, yeah, I can see that. But what are you doing? Oh, just bouncing this ball here. Yeah, I get that. But when I asked you if you wanted to come over to pop water balloons with our armpits, oh, uh, you said you had scientific research to do. And this does not look scientific to me, Guy Raz. Oh, well, I, I am doing scientific research. Really? So I guess you're going to tell me that you're doing a physics experiment on acceleration and velocity by bouncing that ball? Uh, well, well actually, no. I was just bouncing this ball. Huh. And I guess you're going to tell me that you're measuring acceleration based on Earth's gravity at 9.8 meters per second per second? Well, yes. I, I guess I could plot this bouncing ball on a graph according to Earth's gravitational forces, but, but re really, I promise, Mindy, I'm just bouncing this ball. But Guy Raz, you said you couldn't come over to crack water balloons with me because you were too busy doing scientific research, something about brain cognition, and this does not look like scientific research to me. Oh, I, I am, Mindy. That's why I'm taking a break. A break? Guy Raz, earlier today you said you couldn't hang out with me because you were so busy studying how the human brain takes in information and keeps it inside our brain and blah, 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 well, blah. Well, I was, but but after a while, I just couldn't concentrate anymore, you know? In fact, Mindy, I couldn't even understand what I was reading anymore. Oh, yeah. So that part is because I accidentally changed the language on your computer to Portuguese. What? And then I couldn't read the instructions on how to change it back because I don't speak Portuguese. So um, that is what that's all about. Ah. Uh, Anywho, so you decided to take a much-needed break? Well, yeah. I I'm actually starting to feel a little refreshed. Oh, yeah? How so? Well, Mindy, have you noticed? that when you're reading or working on math problems for a long time, you start to get a little fidgety? Yes, and not even the car tire that I use for a fidget spinner works. And don't you just want to jump up and down and run around and maybe play make-believe or just daydream? Yes, I, I, I do all of those things, Guy Raz. In fact, that's why I got kicked out of the nail salon last week. Ouch. Wait, were you spying on me? No, no, oh. no, what? I mean, what you're talking about is exactly the kind of stuff I need to do when I've been concentrating for a long time. And then, like, every hour or so, I just gotta get out there and get my yayas out, you know? Well, that's just it, Mindy. You need to recharge, to re-energize, to regroup, because it's hard to sit still for such a long time. Oh, yeah, which is why my favorite time of day is recess. Yes, yes, recess is one of my favorite parts of the day, too. It actually makes us smarter and better learners. Hold the phone, Guy Raz. You're telling me that running around a big open field like a bunch of screaming, laughing, wild maniacs is actually making us smarter? Yes. What? Mindy, Mindy, over the past few years, a lot of schools in America have shortened their recess times because kids are learning a lot more things in school today, which is great, but... Big but. What? It means that we have to cram so much classroom time into one little school day that we have less and less time for recess. Exactly. And while that might seem like a good idea, you know, less recess, more time for math and reading and spelling and geography and art and history and science. Yeah, 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 yeah. It also means less time for just running around on the playground. But I'm still not entirely clear on how running around a playground makes us smarter. Well, here's the amazing thing, Mindy. 
researchers known as kinesiologists, or scientists who study the movement of humans and animals, well, they've been studying this very question. You mean what the connection is between moving our bodies and learning stuff? Yes, and you know what they've been discovering? What? Well, they've been finding more and more evidence or facts and clues that have led them to conclude that recess time, especially for kids, makes it a lot easier for kids to learn in classrooms. Well, this is great news. How did they figure this out? Well, there's one particular kinesiologist in Texas named Debbie Ray. And she's looked at schools where kids have more recess time than kids at other schools. Like where? Well, a good example is the country of Finland. Finland? You mean that country that's all the way up at the top of Europe and sandwiched right in between Russia and Sweden? That Finland? Yep. So if you look at a map, you can see Norway, which is sort of like a giant spoon. And next to it is Sweden and then Finland. So what did she find in Finland? Well, Finland is one of the countries in the world where kids tend to score really, really high on international tests. Tests that kids in countries all around the world take to see how much they're learning. Interesting. So do we know the secret as to why kids in Finland are scoring so high? Well, there are a number of hypotheses based on some scientific evidence evidence. Uh And those hypotheses include things like really, really well-paid teachers, for starters. Oh, I like the sound of well-paid teachers, Guy Raz. Just listen to that. Okay, okay, teachers, that's enough. Yep, just just dial it back a notch. Yep, teachers, teachers. All right, we're going to need a timeout, everyone. there's another hypothesis, and it has to do with recess and break times. So do kids in Finland get a lot of recess? Mindy, kids in Finland, on average, get 15 minutes of recess every 45 minutes. And that means that in an average day, kids in Finland can get about one hour and 30 minutes of recess. Wait a minute, Guy Raz. It sounds to me like you're describing paradise. Well, um... Reggie, get your snow muffs on, you nutty old bird, because we're flying to Finland to do some scientific observations. Well, uh, I'm, I'm not sure we can just show up. I mean, we should probably notify people in Finland that we're coming to... No time for that, Guy Raz. I'm about to climb the monkey bars in Finland. Reggie, don't forget to pack my jump rope. Uh, I'm not sure now is the time to actually fly to... Guy Raz, hold on to your ham sandwich, because we're about to hit the first like a Kenta we can find. Like a Kenta? Oh, yeah. I'm just brushing up on my finish as we speak. See, right here on page 172, the word for playground in Finnish is like in Kenta. Well, well, I, I think actually most Finns speak pretty good English. Reggie, we're going to need some cabbage rolls and some moose jerky. Oh. Next stop, Helsinki. Do you think this is really a good idea? Guy Raz, we're flying a carrier pigeon to Finland. Of course this is not a good idea. What? You ready? Here we go! for Reggie's talons. Never knew when those were going to come in handy. Man, there's so much ice on the ground over here. Ah, I think I should have ordered some of those custom skates for my posterior. Posterior? You mean your tush? Well, well, oh, you mean your buns. Well, well, oh, gluteus well, maximus. Well, well, your hiney? Uh, well, oh, you're talking about your patootie, aren't you? Yes, 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 Mindy. I, I didn't ask for a human thesaurus, but... Chukus, dare, uh, dare, bum, this bum, ice backpack, feels so much booty. better. Oh, but dunk a dunk What? What? Uh, uh, well, you better hop off your caboose, mister, because we have arrived in the capital of Finland and time is a-wasting. We need to find a school 
cool stat. Okay, but where are we going to find a... Over here, Guy Raz. Come on. It looks like there's a school just at the end of this road. Oh, uh... Hurry up. I hear the recess bell. Well... well... Here, hop on my back. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. Let's go get some... <laughs> Uh, 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 oh. Oh. Wow, look at all these kids, Mindy. They're playing outside in the middle of this cold weather, and no one seems to mind the cold. Well, of course they don't, Kairos. It's recess time. You know, it doesn't look all that different from recess in America. I mean, just a bunch of kids playing on the monkey bars and running around and blowing off some steam. Whew, speaking of steam, I could use a hot mug of hot cocoa right now. You know, Mindy, this is exactly what a lot of researchers have observed. Kids running around in snowsuits on a Helsinki playground? Yes, because they wanted to see if kids in Finland concentrate better than kids in other countries with less recess. So what did they find? Well, they found that in schools where kids have more time for free play, you know, to explore the playground, to run around, to daydream, they actually focused better when they got back to class. Yeah, it sounds like they had some time to get their yayas out and clear their brains a little. In fact, two years ago, a few schools in Texas, including Eagle Mountain Elementary School in Fort Worth, started to give kids more breaks, more time for recess. Texas? Well, what are we doing in Finland, Guy Raz? Well, well. Reggie, saddle up and put on your spurs. We're going to Texas. Well, uh, we don't really need to go to Texas. I mean, we can just write up our notes back at the lab at, at my house. Okay, Reggie, change of plans. We're heading back to the lab. Hop on, Guy Raz. You better strap in because here we go! Working with Reggie on softer landings. Yeah, you know, we tried it, but I just felt like Reggie was too over scheduled. Uh, I mean, between Spanish lessons and chess club and taekwondo and swimming and cotillion, I mean, we barely even had time to just stop and smell the roses. Well, and anyway, I don't even think colleges look at all that extracurricular stuff anyway, so it's really not that. You had, you had Reggie in taekwondo? Oh, uh, yeah, we tried it all taekwondo karate, but let me tell you, this pigeon couldn't even do the crane kick. Um, and he never really got into that whole wax on, wax off thing. Yeah, okay. Well, well, anyway, now that we're back in the lab, let me compare our observations from that school in Helsinki with a study that was done by the American Academy of Pediatrics. You mean that prestigious group of doctors that looks after kids? Yeah, pediatricians. Yeah. And the Academy of Pediatrics does a lot Lots of research on things that are helpful for kids. Like giving them more recess? Yes. In fact, Mindy, in a study published by the Academy, the pediatricians wrote that recess time is crucial for kids and that it provides cognitive, emotional, social, and physical benefits. Cognitive benefits? Yeah, so good for the brain and good for learning. And emotional benefits? Yeah, good at helping kids stay happy and grounded. And social benefits. Yeah, good at helping kids learn how to get along with other kids. Okay, got it. And you also said physical benefits. Yep, good at helping kids stay healthy and strong. Well, that sounds like an open and shut case, Sherlock. And what's really cool is that other schools in Texas are watching Eagle Mountain Elementary School to see the effects of more recess on the kids. Well, Guy Raz, while you were taking notes in Finland, I put together the perfect plan for school. Here, take a look. Hmm, let's see here. Uh, bell rings, recess, then snack, then classroom discussion on the science of recess, then some more recess, then a math study on the average time it takes to get from the classroom to the playground, then another recess break, then lunch. Uh, uh, Mindy? Yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure the American Academy of Pediatrics quite had this in mind. Oh, yeah, well, I just thought I would make some of my own scientific recommendations. Uh, well, uh, 
this this sounds like... Like a plan? Come on, let's get some hot cocoa. Sounds good. But first, um, let me just crane kick this bouncy ball into Mr. Miyagi's backyard. What? Hi! <laughs> Who keeps doing this? Wow in the world! Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Felix, and I'm 10 years old. Felix, we just learned that recess is really important for kids to be able to learn. Do you agree with that? Well, first of all, school does teach you pretty cool things like fractions and stuff like that. Fractions are the coolest. Yeah, we just learned them. So Felix, if recess is so good for kids, do you think recess would also be good for grown-ups? Yes. What if you were in charge of teaching recess to grown-ups? Having a break, stretching your legs, maybe going to get some lunch or a milkshake from in and out. And what if they had a field just like at school and they had to go outside and play in it together? I would have them have soccer teams or football teams or banana tag. I don't know. What's banana tag? The game, like, everyone's it, but... That's Wait a minute, if everyone's it, then who's doing the, who's being tagged? Everyone, so if people tag each other at the same time, then you have to do Rochambeau. What's that? Rock, paper, scissors. Ah. Who do you think would be better at recess, kids or grown-ups? Probably kids. How do you be a kid? You're a professional kid. How long have you been a kid for? Ten and a half years. So as an expert kid, do you have any words of advice for grown-ups on how to be a kid? So how to be a kid. Okay. First of all, I'm not a perfect kid, so I like to argue with my parents sometimes. But it never gets you anywhere, so I wouldn't really do that. So good word of advice is think of things that would be fun to play with your friends and then talk to them and if they want to do it that's great step number two get lots of legos and build them and you have to read harry potter or watch star wars whatever one's best for you but it has to be awesome and if you had to give grown-ups one word of advice for regular recess what would it be have fun and be nice no fights felix it was really fun talking with you today You sound like a recess expert. I am. Bye! Wow in the World! Wow in the World is written by Mindy Thomas and Tom Van Kalken with help from me, Guy Raz. Original sound design and music editing is done by our supervising producer, Jed Anderson and Tyler Thull. You can also hear Jed Anderson in the voices of Dennis, Thomas Fingerling, Reggie, and many of the other silly characters you hear on our show. Jessica Bodie keeps our facts straight as our fact checker, and Meredith Halpern-Ranzer powers the wow at Tinkercast. Our theme song was composed and performed by three-time Grammy nominees, The Pop-Ups. Find them at thepopups.com. Special thanks to Steph Sosa, Henry Moskal, Ruth Morrison, Rebecca Caban, Kit Ballinger, Sana Ali Muhammad, Anna Zagorski, and all of the other tinkerers at Tinkercast HQ. To keep the wows rolling, visit us at tinkercast.com. There you can learn more about becoming an official member of the World Organization of Wowzers. Learn about upcoming events, shop our wow shop, find our best-selling books, and learn about all of our other amazing podcasts from Tinkercast. Grown-ups, you can follow Wow in the World on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Wow in the World. And our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And if you're a kid with a big wow to share with us, call us at 1-888-7-WOW-WOW for a chance to be featured at the end of our show or an upcoming episode of Two What's and a Wow. Thanks again for listening, and until next time, keep on wowing! Wow in the World was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondery.